Today we're going to make this super slim leather and canvas card wallet. This project started in Fusion 360, where I sketched out a standard size card and built the wallet out from there. I gave some thickness to each piece so I could use my 3D printer to create a template and put some holes in the bigger pieces to save on filament. Earlier this year, I made a minimalist wallet that was mostly leather with a canvas accent. This time, I wanted to make a super slim wallet for myself by flipping that idea, using canvas for the majority and the leather as an accent. I realized that 95% of the time, I only need four cards with me, my credit card, debit card, driver's license, and maybe a transit card. So I only put four single card pockets into this wallet. I used three to four ounce vegetable tan leather for the two outside pieces. I found this cattle brand on the big side of leather and thought it would be cool to feature this on the wallet. If you want to make this wallet yourself, I put a link in the description to my online store where you can buy the STL file to 3D print this template, as well as a traditional PDF template. Before this project, I'd only used paper templates, and it's such a better experience to just ride my rotary cutter along the positive stop of the plastic template. The gray canvas came from my local leather and sewing supply store. It's waterproof, with one side matte and the other glossy. You may have noticed that I sometimes cut leather with a rotary cutter, and other times I just use a razor blade. Depends how I'm feeling. However, I always use a rotary cutter when I'm cutting fabric. Drawing a blade across fabric will always pull and fray the material to a certain extent, unless the blade is ridiculously sharp. Since the rotary cutter rolls over the fabric, it always leaves a really clean cut. I do use my X-Acto knife to trim the corners, but since it's a sharp knife in a short cut, there isn't much fraying. Once I had everything cut out, I made stitching grooves an eighth of an inch from the edges of the leather pieces. To add a bit of custom branding to the wallet, I turned the hand outline from my logo into a leather stamp in Fusion 360. I've been experimenting with 3D printed leather stamps the past few weeks and have found that you don't need much thickness for a strong, effective stamp. This is a really exciting prospect to me because it means that I can quickly create one-off custom stamps for commission projects. This stamp only took 22 minutes to print. To ensure I got a good, solid impression, I spread the hammer blows all across the surface of this relatively large stamp. Since doing this project, I've also gotten awesome results by really soaking the leather and then pressing in the 3D printed stamp with clamping pressure rather than hitting it with a hammer. That method is a bit easier and more consistent, and I think it's what I'm going to use from now on. But I am really happy with how crisp this impression turned out. I dampened the leather to avoid splotches, and then dyed the pieces with three coats of EcoFlow leather dye in Canyon Tan. Directly after applying each coat of dye, I buffed the leather with a rag to remove excess dye from the surface. This is really helpful in getting a consistent color. Once the leather was dry and no longer cool to the touch, I oiled the pieces with olive oil. This restores moisture to the leather that gets stripped out by the dye. I left this overnight to absorb and then finished the pieces with Carnauba Cream, my go-to top finish. This stuff is natural, smells great, and is really easy to apply. You just wipe it on with a rag, let it dry, buff to a nice sheen, and repeat. Now I was ready to finish the edges. I started by adding a bevel on both the front and back sides. I then dyed the edges and allowed that to dry for about an hour. 
Finally, I burnish the edges with gum tragacanth, rubbing it in with my wooden burnishing tool. This makes the edges smooth, shiny, and hard. I marked the areas for contact cement on the canvas liner and was ready to put all the pieces together. Before attaching the pockets, I carefully ran a lighter along each one's top edge to vaporize any loose threads and sort of melt them into a solid edge. When I punched the stitching holes, I started by making two holes at 45 degrees in each corner. That would give me nice even bends in the stitch line. I set the wallet in my parallel jaw clamp and started saddle stitching. After tapping the stitches flush to the surface, I trimmed the canvas and did one more pass with the lighter to get a nice solid edge. I think that this design has a ton of potential, and I'd really like to make more of these and refine my process. Using canvas for the majority of the structure gives you a super slim wallet, and it's so much nicer to carry this around than my big store-bought bifold. The flippiness of the wallet is also super satisfying, and I find myself playing with it all the time. Plus, I just love this color combination, and I think the contrast between the embossing on one side and the brand on the other is really interesting. Using 3D printed templates allowed me to create really precise pieces quickly, and I'm excited to use this in more projects. It's going to be an especially big value add if I make multiples of a piece for sale. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out the rest of my channel for all sorts of project videos. As always, have a great day!